Herzlich willkommen und ein fröhliches Hallo von eurem Herringway. Wir spielen 999, 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Doors weiter. Beim letzten Mal, ja, was haben wir beim letzten Mal gemacht? Wir haben die Küche vervollständigt, hooray, was äh, arschlang gedauert hat, wie mir mal so aufgefallen ist. Es ist erstaunlich, wenn man das ganze Let's Playt und äh, dann so nebenbei versucht ein bisschen zu erklären und generell, wenn man einfach so die Texte vorliest und so, die Zeit vergeht so rasend schnell. Irgendwie, man merkt so richtig, dass hinter dem Spiel jede Menge Geblubber steckt oder so. Ich weiß nicht genau. Dass ich eine Stunde für die Küche gebraucht habe, ist echt faszinierend. Wenn man das normalerweise so für sich spielt, dann braucht man sicherlich nur ungefähr die Hälfte der Zeit. Und ich glaube, das kann man dann auch so in etwa so festhalten. Sprich, äh, die Gesamtlänge des Let's Plays wird äh, die Gesamtspiellänge, die man normalerweise aufwenden muss, sicherlich deutlich übersteigen. Aber... Das ist ja eigentlich bei fast jedem Spiel so. Bei diesem Spiel hier aber irgendwie extremer, glaube ich. Ich habe das nie so richtig in Relation bei Phoenix Wright gesetzt. Ist im Endeffekt aber vielleicht auch total egal. So, was haben wir danach gemacht, als wir die Küche vervollständigt hatten? Wir sind weitergegangen, wir sind eine Ebene tiefer in das Schiff hineingegangen, weil eine andere Route gab es nicht. Wir haben einen großen Raum gefunden mit jedem Menge Krankenhausbetten. Wir haben drei neue Türen gefunden. Wir haben festgestellt, dass wir die Türen nicht öffnen können. Wir haben die anderen Leute wieder gefunden und wir machen uns jetzt eben... Oder wir haben uns jetzt aufgeteilt, um irgendwie diese, die, diese fehlenden Bestandteile der Türen zu finden, damit wir weiter in das Schiff äh, vorandringen können. Und äh, wir hatten vereinbart, dass wir uns beim nächsten Glockenschlag, sprich um 1 Uhr vermutlich morgens, wieder im großen Raum treffen werden. Und genau das ist jetzt eben der Fall und deshalb äh, Film ab. From far away, Jumpy heard the bell ring. It did so only once. It was 1 a.m. He jogged through the entrance of the large hospital room to find six of the others already there. Ace, Santa, Clover, June, Seven and Lotus. They had gathered in front of door number eight. Or perhaps, to be accurate, they had gathered in front of the red next to door number eight. Had one of them found the missing piece? What happened, guys? It was June who answered him. Jumpy, look! She was pointing at the red. He pushed through the others until he stood in front of it. Immediately, he knew what she had meant. The display on the front of the red read vacant. Jumpy sighed. Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... Jumpy wondered why she was hesitating. The others looked as confused as June, but kept their mouths shut. What the hell? What is up with you guys? They all knew something he didn't, and Jumpy wasn't about to leave things that way. Finally, Lotus frowned and spoke. Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. Jumpy looked at the bottom of the red again, just to make sure. The slot that had been open on the bottom was now covered with metal. Clearly, whatever had been missing had been returned. What about the other two? They are the same. Jumpy quickly examined the other two boxes. Satisfied that they were also repaired, but still very confused, he returned to the others. Alright, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Ace and June nodded silently. Seven raised his hands, as if to say, not me, and Santa just shrugged. 
only Clover lowered her head and did nothing. Huh? Wait a minute. That was when he noticed. Where's Snake? 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 Snake! Dup, 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 Äh, ja. <lacht> ich liebe Metal hier. Jumpy swept his... <lacht> Entschuldigung. Um, Jumpy swept his eyes across the room a second time, but Snake was nowhere to be seen. Does it mean that he found them? I have no idea. There's nothing to suggest it, but nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost? Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. Clover raised her head. No, that's impossible! Suddenly, she was shouting. Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing. He can get around as well as anyone who can see. So he... he couldn't get lost. That's impossible. Clover had started to shake. And the knuckles of her hands had gone white. She spun around, but before she did, Jumpy noticed tears swelling up in her eyes. I'm gonna go look for him. The words were barely out of her mouth when she began to run. Hey! Hold on, Clava, wait! Jumpy cried out to her, but he was too slow. She kept going, and before anyone else could react, she was gone. Damn it! What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No, we are not leaving two people behind. We should go look for them. Oh, man, this ain't good. Oh, yes, what an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Jumpy and the others nodded to one another and took off at a run. Tja. Wo könnte Snake Plus sein? Das ist eine sehr gute Frage. Schauen wir uns doch einfach mal um. In front of the stairs that led to B-Deck, they decided to split up. They quickly assigned search areas and went their separate ways. Soon, only two of them were left. Those two were Jumpy and June, who had been a few steps behind the others. All right, we should go too. Yes, let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. Tja, wo wollen wir jetzt hingehen? Ins Casino, Bedeck. Das ist übrigens, ähm, da wären wir hingekommen, wenn wir am Anfang durch die Tür Nummer 5 gegangen wären. Ebenso auch äh, The First Class Cabin. Also die erste Class Kabine eben, die... Äh, da kommt man auch hin, wenn man durch äh, Tür Nummer 5 geht. The hallway with all the rooms, da können wir noch gucken. Oder back to the large hospital room. Alles jetzt nicht so... Äh, ja, beziehungsweise das heißt alles nicht so. Wir haben keine Ahnung. Es wäre schwachsinnig, jetzt wieder direkt in den äh, großen ähm, Raum mit den vielen Betten irgendwie zurückzugehen. Und eigentlich kommen wir gerade vom Hallway, also von, de, von dem Gang mit den ganzen Räumen. Deswegen gucken wir doch jetzt erstmal beim Casino. Wir arbeiten uns mal von unten nach oben durch, würde ich sagen. How about the Casino on B-Deck? De okay, sounds good. They took off up the stairs at a run. Before they knew it, they were there. So was Lotus. She was leaning against the wall examining her nails. Hey, what do you think you're doing? She glanced up at him, unimpressed. Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. Jumpy didn't think that was a problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you too. Care to hear it? 
Äh, okay. Mal gucken, was sie uns zu sagen hat. Listen to what she has to say. What is it? Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if you wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is 5, mine is 6 and yours is 8. Our digital root would be 1. 5 plus 6 plus 8 gleich 19. 1 plus 9 gleich 10. Macht Sinn. 1 plus 0 gleich 1. Okay, ja. But there's no number 1 door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are 3, 7 and 8. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What? Isn't that easy? Seven. She was right. If they added seven. Fünf plus sechs plus acht plus sieben. Sechsundzwanzig. Zwei plus sechs gleich acht. Wir könnten also die Tür mit der Nummer acht gehen. Then the four of them could go through the number eight door. Ja, schön. But... Whoa, hold on a sec. What about the other four? Why don't you... Why don't you add them up? That was simple enough. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 gleich 10. 1 plus 0 gleich 1. The digital root for those four would be 1. That's right. And you... know the number one door isn't in the big hospital room, right? Of course I know that. No. Are... Are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of a woman do you think I am? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you'd do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than four hours... Uh, than five hours left. Das ist immerhin eine Stunde mehr, genau. <laughs> Even if he managed to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than four, five, four, five, in five hours, yeah, yeah, then five hours, less than five hours, yes. Well, you never know until you try. No. No. You're not thinking this through. Even if he brought seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The digital root for us four will be eight, so we'd have to add ace to make nine. Right. Unless we bring ace two, we'll be stuck. Lotus scratched the back of her ear. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. She didn't sound particularly bothered by what Jumpy said. Nor did she seem particularly surprised. Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? You do know that only five people, at most, can go, th can go through one of the numbered doors, right? The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. You're right. That is true. The moment he said it, Jumpy felt a chill run down his spine. It was true. How Lotus could remain cavalier about so terrifying a prospect was beyond him. When they found the number 9, they would have to choose which three of them would die. Lotus' forehead furrowed. Do you think I could, have a, I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about.
Okay. Jumpy and June turned and began walking away from Lotus. Talking to her had left them feeling ill. Jumpy's heart felt heavy and his steps sluggish. But he told himself pessimism would get them nowhere. So he forced himself to smile and turned to June. Let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Yes, you're right. We can think about those other things later. Jumpy nodded. Alright, where should we go next? Yeah. Jetzt können wir uns eine neue Route überlegen. Davon mal abgesehen ist das jetzt natürlich ein sehr interessanter Moment, weil das jetzt ähm, zum einen, äh, was mich auch damals sehr überrascht hat, war das jetzt tatsächlich das erste Mal in diesem Spiel, dass wir ein Angebot, ein recht offenes, öffentliches, ein recht, äh, wie, wie ein recht offensives Angebot äh, von einer Person eben noch bekommen haben, nämlich ein Team zu bilden, um dann eben eine bestimmte ja, Digital Route einfach zu bekommen, um damit dann irgendwie den Ausgang zu erreichen. Koste es, was es wolle. Auch wenn das eben bedeutet, dass dann unter Umständen ein paar andere Leute ziemlich, ja, ziemlich viel Pech haben. Das ist so eine Sache, die offenkundig wohl irgendwie zu diesem no nary game gehört. Und... Das ist definitiv auch eine Sache, über die wir uns vielleicht den Kopf zerbrechen könnten. Oder ja, darüber sollte man sich eventuell den Kopf zerbrechen. Wer soll dann zurückbleiben, sobald wir die Nummer 9 Tür irgendwann gefunden haben? Na gut, einfach nur so ein Gedanke, den man mal so im Raum stehen lassen kann. Lotus scheint sich, für, äh, Lotus scheint sich in jedem Falle aber ziemlich viele Gedanken schon darüber zu machen. Und vielleicht äh, fährt sie da auch tatsächlich eine mehr oder weniger... Ähm, Gute Strategie. Gut, jetzt spielen wir Jumpy, der ja offenkundig eher so ein Gutmensch ist, aber na gut, äh, lassen wir das. Das, äh, ja, behalten wir es einfach nur im Hinterkopf. 